The BIRADS classification stratifies mammographic breast lesions by their risk of malignancy. BIRAD0 is an incomplete image or indeterminate or concerning findings on screening mammography that requires additional diagnostic imaging and evaluation. BIRADS1, 2, and 3 lesions are benign or likely benign and do not require a biopsy. BIRADS4 and 5 lesions are suspicious for malignancy and should undergo a core needle biopsy. If the biopsy is non-diagnostic, indeterminate, or discordant, the lesion should undergo an excisional biopsy. Core biopsies that are positive for malignancy or a BIRAD6 lesion should undergo appropriate surgical therapy. The nine breast lesions are classified as non-proliferative, proliferative, or proliferative with atypia. Non-proliferative lesions include breast cysts, ductal ectasia, and fibroadenomas and carry no increased risk of breast cancer. Proliferative lesions without atypia include radial scars, complex fibroadenomas, and moderate or severe ductal hyperplasia and carry a relative risk of breast cancer of 1.5 to 2. Proliferative lesions with atypia include atypical ductal and atypical lobular hyperplasias and carry a relative risk of 4 to 5. These lesions, like LCIS, are not precursor lesions but instead are considered to be markers for increased risk of breast cancer as subsequent breast cancer may develop in either breast and not necessarily in the area of atypia. Atypical ductal hyperplasia is characterized by the proliferation of dysplastic uniform epithelial cells with monomorphic round nuclei filling part but not all of an involved duct. ADH can present as the suspicious microcalcifications on mammography. ADH requires surgical excision when found incidentally on core biopsy, as up to 20% of specimens are upgraded to DCIS or invasive ductal carcinoma. If margins are positive for ADH on surgical excision, there is no need for additional margins to be taken. Atypical lobular hyperplasia is characterized by proliferation of uniform, evenly spaced, adhesive epithelial cells filling part of but not all of an involved lobule. ALH is often an incidental finding and when seen on core needle biopsy without discordant imaging, does not require surgical excision but does warrant consideration for chemo prevention.